Okay guys, now we are on week 11. And because we're zipping through these again, we're gonna skip the dictation again. Okay, so no dictation. But we are gonna talk about um, um, some other things. We are not gonna talk about adjective forms. Okay, so put a big X on that on page 35, put an X on it. We're not gonna talk about that. Um, but we are gonna talk a little bit about transitions, okay? Transition words give signals to introduce, connect, or complete ideas that are an important element in both fiction and nonfiction reading and writing. So here we go. Transition gives signals, and I just um, give signals that introduce, connect, or complete ideas. Read the directions below, then see if you can identify the types of transitions by using the lists of common transitions. Okay, so the list of common transitions are on the back of 36. So I'm not going to go through this big time with you about the peanut butter jelly sandwich. But what you need to understand is that there's ways to transition in your writing. So if I'm, you're giving me instructions about how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you might say, first, you get out the bread. Second, and right now I'm looking at this on page, whoop, 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 page 36, this gray chart right here. Okay, those are transition words. So other things you can say is, nevertheless, or however, um, as a result, therefore. Okay, those are all transition words. That's all I want you to know. Okay, we don't have to spend a lot of time going through those. But what I want you to do is I want you to try to use those words to make this sentence, this thing make sense. Okay, so you've got this thing on page um, 36 about transition words. It is extremely important for you to wear a helmet when you are riding your bicycle. Blank, if you have an accident. So what could you put there? You could say, you could say, uh, let's see. You could use in general. In general, if you have an accident, the helmet could help you prevent serious injuries and possibly save your life. Um, you could say... Since statistics show that bike riders... So I want you to try to read this through and see if you can figure out what transition word you can do in there. Write them in there and see if it makes sense when you read it. Okay, have a little fun with it. Do your best. Don't stress out about it. Okay, now those are, some of you have read the book Shades of Grey by Carolyn Reeder. In that book, Will doesn't know how to do physical work on the farm. His cousin Meg shows him how to hoe the garden. Uncle Jed teaches him how to fix the fence post. The characters demonstrate the tasks as they tell him what to do. Will is able to learn by watching his uncle and cousin. However, when we have to follow written directions, we must figure out what the writer meant to say. Have you ever read the directions to something but found they didn't make any sense? Can you describe a time when this has happened to you? Have you ever followed written directions that helped you to do something well? Okay. So um, what this is talking about is the fact that you need clear directions in order to know how to do something well. Um... And so um, this little activity she here though on 37, we are not going to do. All I want you to know is you gotta have clear directions. You gotta write clear directions. You gotta be able to do that. Um, and this has here, today you will write directions to perform a task. Choose something that you do well. Choose something that doesn't require too many steps to perform like how to tie your shoes or how to brush your teeth. Write the directions so anyone can do them, okay? So we're going to do this a little bit. It's going to be a fun way though. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to come up with something very simple that you could write down and then ask your brother, or sister, or your mom or dad to do. I'd love to do it with your mom and dad. I think it'd be super fun if you did it with your mom and dad. Here's the easiest one. Um, um, put peanut butter on bread. Okay. So you write the directions down and then you, and then you read them to your parent and you film it and you ask your parent to do it exactly like you said it. So, for instance, you say, take the bread out of the bag, right? And they take the bread out of the bag. Then you say, spread the peanut butter on the bread. But you didn't tell them to use a knife. So what are they going to do? Use their hand, right? So try to think if you can come up with one of these that you can do and to write directions for. I think it'd be super funny. I would think it'd be super fun. But I'm going to make it optional. If you do it and want to do it, I'll give you an extra credit um, grade. 
Take off any zero you have and get 100 or get 100 extra points on any quiz. Um, and here's what you need to do. You just pick something and write directions. How to fold a shirt. How to ball up socks, right? All you have to do is write in these lines here, write it down, then ask your mom. Hey mom, come over here. I'm gonna read you directions. I want you to do exactly what I say. And then I want you to film them doing it and then you just post the video. If you can't figure out how to post it here, you can just send it to me via um, text and I'll put it on there. So it's just a fun assignment, it's optional. If this was just a crazy week and you can't do it, that's okay. But you wanna learn how to write good directions and how to read good directions. Okay, so that's it with week 11. Super fast, super easy. Um, I'm actually gonna tell you that you do not even need to turn this in to me. Um, I wanted you to turn in week 10. Uh, no, I'm gonna change that. Let's turn in week 11 also. Let's staple them all together. Staple week 10 and week 11 together because you were supposed to do it was on page 36. You turn it all in for a grade, okay? That's it.